T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now we're going to be taking a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series, G.I. Joe Agent Tunnel Rat. Look at all that. He's number 83. He is 6 inches exactly or 152 millimeters. And this is the artwork right there. So since he's six inches exactly, you know he's not one of the tallest G.I. Joe characters that we have. Tunnel Rat comes with a ton of accessories. He, this is one of the few times you'll hear this from me. He might have too many. The main thing, like this stuff down here is okay, but the stuff that's on him, it's like, it's frustrating when you're trying to pose him. To add to the gear that's on his body, he comes with this satchel right here. And the strap is very pliable but it definitely bunches things up and when i'm trying to i'm a perfectionist when i'm trying to take pictures of the poses and the, like the strap being lifted up or the weapon the bullet belt being lifted up drives me up the wall he has this knife right here the combat knife nice night vision goggles with four lenses i don't know how this works because I'm not a military person, but there you are with that. He has this pistol that has the brown handle. It does not have a blast effect port. You get this long assault rifle right here that I can, I guess can double as a sniper rifle. It has a bipod. And these two things feel flimsy as crap. They barely want, I mean, they stay there mostly, but yeah. And this thing came kind of bent out of package, so it's pointing down, drooping down. But you can remove this magazine right here. It's silver this time, and it's a different mold from Big Ben. The scope is permanently attached. Yeah, nice gun. You get this backpack right here with two ports at the top. And why do you have two ports? Because you get two flashlights right here. You get two of them. And they both can port at the top of the backpack right there. Now this autofocus is determined to not look at whatever I have right in front of the camera. It wants to look at whatever's going on in the back. <laughs> Drives me up the wall. Well, let's test this out. I'm gonna bring him forward. It's focused on him. I thought it was gonna just automatically focus on my backdrop. But here he is. I did a modification right away. Like this scarf is a floating piece and removable. This bullet belt, as you can see, is floating and removable. This would be removable, but I put glue behind that communicator right there. That everybody seems to have except snow job at least everybody from gi joe so i got tired of all that stuff moving so that's one less thing i'm not gonna glue on the scarf but as you can see he has tattoos on his arms and he has the war paint on the face maybe that's paint on it no i, I think that's tattoos but he has this right here tunnel rat Nothing on that side. He just has the sculpted in painted belt right there. It's not floating at all. You get the knife holster. And I hope you saw this pistol holster right there. The knee pads. And these shoes right here, or boots that are underneath of his pants. Here he is without the scarf or the bullet belt. I heard back in the day, his image or his facial likeness was that of Larry Hama, the guy who wrote all the character bios and and I guess he assisted in the stories. If he didn't write the stories, I can't remember. He might have wrote, written some of the stories for the comics. Here he is fully geared up with everything, the side satchel, the gun in the holster, holding the gun, the knife in that holster, the backpack. The backpack peg and the hole in his back are not that deep. So you will have to worry about the backpack falling off. I would put him in the pose you want and then put the backpack on. And while you're putting the backpack on, 
I will grab the side satchel, pull it down, hold it in that position, or else it will be bunching up right there. And the bullet belt kind of is very, very loose. I guess they wanted that to be removable, but it's so loose that you have to worry about that floating as well. Night vision goggles are good on his face, but if you try to like lift it up, to get off of his eyes, it doesn't really slide down further because he has that knot in the back of his hair, headband or his, his headgear that he's wearing right there. So that's the thing. And I didn't complain about this, but some people might have noticed it in the Big Ben video. But see how the paint wasn't finished right there? That's a QC issue. I had the same thing on Big Ben. I mean, since it is black mostly, I can go over that myself. Actually, that's supposed to be the paint for the, the head scarf. So that's not super black, but yeah. So that's something you may have to worry about when you get your figure. So I like that on both sides. I guess it's the way they spray the paint on. And it didn't work well on this figure. Oh, articulation. His head doesn't look up that well, but he can look down. The ball at the base of the neck works and you rotate. It doesn't really even do well with the ball. The dumbbell joint underneath for there it doesn't have a lot of range. It's not stuck in the place. It just doesn't have a lot of range. So you're working mostly with the ball at the base of the neck. The arm goes out. It has the traditional butterfly joint right here. Of course, it can rotate and swivel right here. Double jointed, endless elbows. And let's move this one forward. It, it only bends that much. This hand goes in and out like that and rotate, while this one goes up and down. You get the regular ab crunch, which of course you have the ball at the waist, which can tilt side to side and rotate forward and back. This part is typically pliable on all of the more, every figures, all the figures at the, maybe the first 20. You can kick out to the side all the way, drop down, kick up more than 90, swivel, bend in the elbow, um, elbow, knee right there. Now this is more hindered than normal. You get rotation, but it can, only, it can go back that much. Coming forward, you're hindered because of the way things are sculpted. Here he is next to Grant, Low Light, and Snow Job. As you can see, he is the shortest of those. And Snow Job is the tallest here. Cobra Officer and Viper. And there's honestly like a little lump right here. I try to get things right in the center. And getting these things to stand up, Jesus. There we go. Here are two female characters and two figures from outside lines. Oh yeah, end of the day, I like this figure. My main gripe is the neck articulation. That is very limited. Like him not being able to look up, it's, it was difficult for me to even get him into this pose and me to like it. Like I have him like this, but I want him to be looking up a little bit more. So that frustrates me. And I mentioned all the stuff about the gear that wraps around them. I can get around that more than the neck articulation. So you may have to fix that yourself if, if it bothers you. But anywho, it's a good figure and it comes with a bunch of good stuff. Thank you for watching this. I'll have a link in the description for where you can find him on Amazon. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos.